Hello everyone, my name is Chirag and welcome to Pilot Labs. In this video, we are going to talk about the ultimate guide to CCIE computer networking in 2025. Are you interested in becoming a master of computer networking? Do you want to learn about the latest technologies and trends in the field? Then you are in the right place. In this video, I'll be covering everything you need to know about CCIE from the basics to the advanced discussions and We'll also learn how to become a certified expert in computer networking. The very first question that arises is what is CCIE? CCIE stands for Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert. Let me write it for that for you guys. If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. CCIE stands for Cisco Certified Internetwork expert ccie guys is the most prestigious certification offered by cisco system it is considered as one of the most advanced and respected certification in the computer networking industry and when you get this particular certification it is a validation to your expertise on designing implementing and troubleshooting complex networks so when you get the CCI certification with yourself, you have a validation that you are an expert of designing, troubleshooting and implementing complex network scenarios. And there are various other benefits of getting this certification. Let me talk about few of them. The very first benefit that you get after getting a CCIE certification is an improved career prospects and a job security. So if I talk about the benefits of CCIE, I can say that the very first thing is an improved career prospect and job security. Other than that, you will have definitely a better earning potential. So we can say an improved or increased earning potential. Then the third thing that works as a benefit of CCIE is a recognition as an expert. So it will give you a recognition as an expert in the computer networking industry. Recognition as an expert and then finally we can say it will keep you updated with latest trends updates about latest trends and technology so when you prepare for your ccie certification you get information about a lot of technologies and the latest trends that are going there out in the market now there are several certification tracks that you might choose from and depending upon your interest, you can select one of the track and pursue your career in that. Let me write what are the available tracks. The very first one that we have is Enterprise Infrastructure. So when I talk about CCIE tracks, the first one we have is Enterprise Infrastructure. Then we have Enterprise Wireless, which tests you on your wireless uh, understanding. Then we have Collaboration, CCIE collaboration then there is ccie for data center then we have a ccie for security we have it for service provider and then we also have the certified devnet expert program called devnet expert these are some tracks in which you can get your ccie each track has its own set of requirements and specialities so you can choose the one that best fits your interest and your career goal now the question is that how do we become CCIE? What are the requirements that one should fulfill to become CCIE? The very first thing is that you should meet the prerequisites. For example, there are uh, prerequisites like clearing the CCNP certification or getting a, a core exam like NCORE uh, to get your persuasion further for your, or you can say to get eligible for your lab attempt. Okay, so the very first thing is that you should meet the prerequisites like having the CCNP certification. Then after that, you should uh, have uh, confirm, confirmation about uh, preparing or you can say a study plan for your lab exam, prepare for the lab exam and pass the practical exam and that's it. That's all what you require. So you can say the step number one would be, step number one on your journey can be choosing the track. So first thing is you should 
choose your certification track in which you want to pursue your career step 2 would be clearing or meeting meeting the prerequisites then step 3 so meeting the prerequisites is getting the core exam depending upon which track you have selected there are different core exam that works as the eligibility criteria so you should look into the particular certification track and find out what core exam you need to crack then finally prepare and clear the practical exam this practical exam is also known as lab exam so after you get your lab exam clear you are cci it, it sounds pretty simple it's not a three steps journey definitely it, it will contain and will include a lot of hard work and effort from your end but yeah if we talk about the structure so this is how it goes now there are some tips and resources that i would like to suggest to you guys for your ccie certification journey the very first one is use the official cisco study material and resources there is no other uh, book that I usually suggest to my students other than the official certification guides. They are very well structured and created by Cisco, providing a great amount of knowledge on the technology. Second thing is you should join online communities and study groups. This will help you in preparing better and you will know what's going around, uh, what's, what's been in trend and how you can prepare better for your CCIE certification. Then I would suggest all of you to practice with simulation tools and labs. There are various simulation tools which are available, uh, which can be used for practicing the labs and getting the hands-on experience, like the Cisco Packet Tracer for the basic stuff, uh, EVNG, GNS3. These can be utilized to prepare the lab exam uh, scenarios and practice the concepts that you want to prepare for the attempt of your lab, right? Then finally, I would strongly recommend everyone to stay up to date with the industry trends and developments. You should be aware what's going on in the productions and uh, what's, what's been in trend, what is trending, what is the new thing that's there in the industry. So you should be aware of all of that. That's it for this particular video on the ultimate guide to CCIE computer networking in 2025. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Remember becoming CCIE certification uh, I mean, getting the CCIE certification takes a lot of dedication and hard work, but it wor it's all worth it at the end, right? So good luck on your certification journey and thank you so much.